Previously on Danganronpa, another episode. It's totally contradictory, right? <laughs> hey! Hey! That's my word, alright? You're not allowed to use that, alright? That's insulting to me, right? <laughs> now, back to the despair! Hello! This is Nico B, back with some more Danganronpa, another episode. We last left off, we stormed the enemy stronghold, and now we gotta go find a dead body of uh, Haji's dad, and I guess bring his old fat ass up here and use his eye to eye socket to open the door, which I'm guessing, I, I feel like we're really close to the end, like, I'm guessing when I go up here, this is gonna be like the final boss, maybe, I, I don't know, it just, even this, other one, well, I don't know, maybe there's still a little more, I don't know, this place hasn't been very big so far, but, uh, I just, I have a feeling that the end is near, though. So, probably only one or two more episodes left. Alright, we got restroom room A, so I think he said it was over here. And then Haji just left, because he, he's kind of a finished. douche. You might say it's game over. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, because you're playing but I, I see you, douchebag. Oh, I'm so sneaky, you'll never get me now! Oh, fuck! And the rest are dead. Enemies popping up at a time like this? Did they really have to make this level harder? Stop! Who's they? <laughs> Why do we... We're, we're asking that now? We've both been frequently breaking the fourth wall. Now we're asking questions? Holy crap! 300 coins. Yeah, I, I, this is... Uh, so if they hit me, if they... Or well, if they did, because I think they're all dead now. Uh... Ooh, super raise. Um, you can knock me off the edge. I remember that because they did that one time when I was uh, walking uh, across that like uh, giant platform earlier. Number of Monokuma coins in obtained in increases greatly. Sweet, wow, ten. I'm gonna have to get rid of a few things in order to use that though. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get all the coins in this game. I at the beginning I was getting like I was able to buy everything so often, but now it's it's getting pretty hard to get everything. Although it really isn't necessary to begin with. Hey there, you little weirdos. What are you doing? Oh, God. Why? Why do we... Why do we have to kill all those people and everybody's mad at us? I don't know why. That doesn't make any sense. I should fucking kill you right now, you little shits. Okay, if you are brainwashed. Where the hell are those little hit, the hidden collectible kids? Maybe there's still a lot left then, because I've only gotten the first one. I haven't seen a side of... Instead of any of the other ones. Ah, it's blood! Blood! <laughs> wow, how long she kept it. <laughs> yes, yes, it is, Fukawa. It's, we've seen it so many times by this point. Is it really that shocking to you? I was so shocked. I really drew out that last <laughs> That's what I was saying. And Kamar just is like, hey, I don't care. Wow, there's quite a bit of it though, isn't it? Oh, there he is. No. Wow, the developers couldn't even bother to make you look different. I feel so sorry for you, Haji's dad. Hey. There's another blue guy. What? Did you find it? I did, but what should I do? It's laying on the floor. It's looking at me. <laughs> I see you, Kamaru. I'm still alive, actually, so everybody please. You don't have to give me the details. If you don't think it'll work. Right. Okay, so I just gotta take a spoon and just jam it into his eye socket and pull out his little eyeball. Ew, no, just, ah! Oh. But if we give up now, we won't be able to get through. And then all the people of the town might end up like this. I can pull a Kratos and just cut his head off and then use it as a human flashlight. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. It's done. Oh God, what did I, what did I do to cut his head off? I thought I was just gonna drag his whole body back. Ew, ew, come on, what the hell? That's not what I thought was gonna happen. I thought we'd just pick up his body. Why would you have to cut his head off? It wasn't even that far away. <laughs> I 
just feel like killing something. I, I really just want to cut something. <laughs> she put it in her shopping bag, little ditty bag. I am. I'm, gonna, I'm pulling a Kratos. I'm just going to use it. <laughs> I can't wait to use this flashlight. What's that paper bag? No, wait, never mind. I don't want to know. His yeah. entrails are in here. Probably better if you don't. Okay, let's head back to the retinal scanning place. <laughs> <laughs> she says that in a very matter of fact way. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just head over there now. <laughs> you look pale. Are you okay? Well, actually, never mind. I know you're not. Oh, I can go back in there. Okay. Sorry, Nico, the last hidden kid's in there, but you can't get it now. Oh, 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 oh my god, I almost missed you. Oh my god, I bet so many people were screaming at their screen trying to, be like, Nico, you walked right by it. Right when I was talking about it, I'm like, where are all the kids at? Where do they go? That was really far over there, though. Okay, so that was four. So I, at least I know I haven't missed any yet. Oh, dicks. Oh, you'll never defeat me! I oh, fuck! Moving <laughs> across a steel frame while pushing over mechanical bears? This is getting crazy. This is getting crazy, crazy! Oh, shit. Stop it! Okay, I'm gonna get you this time! I don't have a shield! No! Okay, did it kill the other guy? It did. Good. Bubbling! That's my favorite word now. After this game, bubbling. Uh, it makes no sense at all, but yet at the same time, it makes so much sense. Nico, how would you like your turkey, sir? I'd like it bubbling. How would you like your bath? I'd like it bubbling. Your soup. Bubbling. Bubbling, bitch. Bup, 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 for Kyle gonna be like, where the fuck are you going? Where are you going? Oh good, now I can go in here. Oh, they're just in there. In little fetal positions, watching the world end. Again. Alright, what do we got? What you got? A complete manual for marriage prep. Oh god, we are absolutely gonna talk about this. This, with just this one book, you're safe from womb to tomb. <laughs> wow, that's a great way to put it. Womb to tomb. From birth to death. From engagement to divorce. We have every, we have completely covered the know-hows of anything and everything related to marriage. Learn the ABCs of marriage right now. Do it now. <laughs> That'd be me if I were trying to sell that book. <laughs> that's actually just me trying to sell anything. <laughs> Buy this thing. What is it? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me your money. Okay, just don't hurt me. Thank you for your business. I take the thing, I just chuck it out. I'm like, <laughs> I guess there's some books that might be used for use once in a while. Be of use for what? Don't mess with me. I'm proposing to master, obviously. Once we're out of here, we'll make a vow right away. Oh, you can't do that, Toko. There's no way he's going to say yes. Can't? What do you mean, I can't? Are you saying that Master rejected me as a foregone conclusion? I should just give up! Uh, no, I'm sick if you talking like that. You're totally raising your death flag. Uh, <laughs> I have played a lot of Aero Gay. So much Aero Gay! Huh? I mean, Aero Games. Aero Gay's a. Yeah. Oh, you don't know. You don't know what Death Flag? Um. Like, imagine in a mystery novel when a bunch of people are trapped in a mansion. <laughs> wow, it can't possibly get any worse. And then a. Their head gets cut off. Like, look, I was saying, like, there's no way I'm staying. It run, runs off alone. Talking like that or making a dumb decision pretty much means you're gonna die. A death flag. <sighs> I know what it is. I just don't believe in a stupid jinx like that. Toku, no, that's also a death flag. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why I can't say that either? Characters who don't believe in curses or the power of God always get killed off. <sighs> well, that might be true, Jeez. but just stop raising all those death flags. Now we're all, now we're really in a pinch. What's it's all your on? fault. Jeez, how much do you believe in that stuff? More than you possibly All know. Alright! Since that's the case, we have no choice to raise the survival flag. Huh? Ah! You see. In tear tricking drama, surgeries that have low success rate always miraculously work, right? In anime, whenever you think the main character is gonna lose or somehow somehow they win. That's right. They always get like they they realize the power of friendship and then they're like, uh, mm, Super Saiyan Bonkai, Sharon Sharon Gun, 
Yeah, bread, yeah, chicken, baga, duga, daga, daga, blah, blah, blah. got to me. We have to raise the survival flat. Activate super low probability principle. Wow. Okay, bond cut. No. <laughs> no, 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 wrong, not the wrong thing. Okay, uh, what do we do? What do we do? The probability we're going to defeat the children is a mere one percent. Oh no, there's no way we can win against them. I'm just a normal high school girl and stuff. That's pretty much the first thing you told me when we met. <laughs> well, yeah, I've been trying to raise my survival flag ever since. Hmm. The character who tries too hard to die dies early too. Oh no, we just can't win. We just can't fucking demon win. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hi there. Up the bow. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Why can't I move? Ah. I'm dead. Ah, oh, my fucking dick. Ah, ow! The furniture is confusing me. I, I will side strafe. You will not hit me now. Ow, ow, ow! Oh my God! Stop giving me hearts. What's it? I like how it seems like the thing it says, give me more money, it's just now they're just dropping hearts. Give me some money. Give me some money, bitch. There we go. Oh, now I got a hundred coins for the uh, golden one. It's awesome. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so fucking rich. Be so fucking rich. And I will rule you all. Is there anything else in here? That's it, I guess. Well, we learned a valuable life lesson about marriage, at least, Nico. I don't care about that. I care about is chopping off a dude's head and then using it to open a door. Oh, okay. That's oddly specific. We actually see her use the head. Like, mm. <laughs> Hello there. My name is Haji's dad. I'm, I'm using a hand puppet. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking it out of the bag. Yeah, you do it. You hurry up and do it already. Don't rush me. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Kamaru. <laughs> Splat. Oh. oh, please, I'm still alive. You can still save me. Just put my head back. Uh, that, well, we don't need it anymore, right? Just, just throw it. No, 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 I, I can't. I'll get divine punishment. Please don't throw my Divine head. Divine punishment? Sensing ghosts? That's enough of your occult stories. Divine punishment is a fiction the living created. The dead have no power. That might be true, but... Miss... Bo oh! Ah! <laughs> now Fukao's gonna flip out, right? Huh? Toko? Did you say something? Huh? I didn't say anything. Th that's strange. For some reason... I thought I heard a voice. Put my head back, bitch. I was just telling you to stop with that stuff. Miss. Miss. See? I heard it again. <laughs> Get out of my bathroom! Wait, wrong game. Holy dicks. <laughs> what? What happened? What are you shouting about all of a sudden? Is she the only one who can see it? G -g 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 ghost! The ghost of a severed head! I told you, now's not the time for fooling around. I'm serious! Miss. You're horrible. Throwing my head away like that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, being possessed. Oh my god, and then her head's gonna turn 180 degrees. And she's gonna crawl on the ceiling. I, I am sorry. I, I was surprised. I, I dropped it on accident. I didn't mean to. Huh? <laughs> I, I, I'm really sorry. I apologize. Please, don't curse me. Curse you. There's no way I do something so lonely. <laughs> what in the world is going on? I just want you to listen. L listen? I just want to borrow your panties. Give them to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Give me your panties! Kamaru, get a hold of yourself. You're hallucinating. 
My name is Tokuichi Toa. I was the chairman of Toa Group in the past. She can hear me talking out loud with that, right? Uh, I know. You're Mr. Haiji's father, right? Sure. I see. You know Haiji. Then do you know his little sister, Monica? Oh! Fucking call that shit! Oh! Oh! Booyah! Yes! Oh! I fucking called that! Mmm! Yeah! I like it. You ever get that feeling when you call something that is sort of like. It, it, it's a bit obscure and it's a bit of a, like. I don't know, a bit of a stab in the dark, but we actually get it totally right and you're like, fuck yeah! Or, well, at least that part, right? Little sister. Monica? I knew it. So that note we did read was from him, I bet. Monica is a mage. Yeah! And when I attended elementary school, I was called the little ultimate homeroom. That is the dumbest ultimate skill ever. Seriously. That is the wh what in the hell? I think they're just handing out ultimate skills now. They're like, oh, what, what do we got left? Uh, ultimate super TV watcher? Ultimate toilet user? That's right, I'm the ultimate pooper. I'm the ultimate coffee drinker. I'm the ultimate pointer! I'm the ultimate weenie! I'm the ultimate wafu! I'm the ultimate bagel! They should just remake that game with just the dumbest ultimate skills. Maybe I'll do that one day. It'll be called Danganronpa Failure Academy. <laughs> then, that kid and Mr. Haiji are siblings? Hmm, so you do know about Monica. In that case, I can get right to the point. Uh, can you stop making me drool every time I talk? I beg you, no matter what, using any means necessary, Stop Monica from going out of control. I guess this is a little peculiar, though. The way they're like, I'm getting that they are uh, trying to get across this information. They could have done it through like a note or something. Like, really, they had to have a ghost come in and just possess her body. It's just kind of, I don't know, just like kind of out of nowhere. Have we ever had any indication in this series that ghosts exist? If you let her do this, the name of Toa will be finished. This is bad. Kamaru's chatting up an illusion. I gotta bring her back to her senses. Is Fukawa gonna have to slap a bitch? The ungrateful child. She, she forgets she is in my debt for taking her in. And revolts against me. Taking her in? That whelp's mother was my mistress. But that bitch abandoned her responsibility. <laughs> oh, damn. And forced Monica on me when she was a baby. Expected to raise his own child? If her mother wasn't going to raise her, I wouldn't have tolerated the pregnancy at all. That's horrible. Yikes. I even let her stay in our home and raised her. I could have easily left her in an orphanage. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really talk to her, but yeah, you know. She's weird. <laughs> but that child made me end up like this. She killed her own father. It's all that woman's fault. She's the one who made Monica insane. Uh, I'm guessing referring to Junko? I knew something was wrong the moment I noticed Monica growing more rebellious. Wait, that woman? Even thinking about her horrifies me. Hmm? Uh. The power of Christ compels you! Ah! The power of Christ compels you! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> now you need holy water for that, though. And you gotta say it with a really old man. The power of Christ compels him. The power of Christ compels him. What? What the? And it worked. This is really weird. What is? The power of Christ compels you. Yeah. I beg you, please stop, Monica. Avenge me. Avenge me, girl. I've never met before. I can't rely on Haji because he sucks! Toko, what are you doing? I was just about to hear something important. Apparently just yelling that works, I guess. <laughs> what did they say in the original game? I, that, that was definitely American of five. Amer American of five. <laughs> five. I imagine. <sighs> Looks like you're back to your senses. 
There's no uh. way that stupid chant would work on a real ghost. You were dreaming it. Dreaming? But he told me a lot of things. About the Toa family. Oh, it was all just a delusion. It's because Nico said it earlier, now you're starting to think it's true. He was actually totally wrong. Wait, what? Yeah, you, that's all that all that stuff he said earlier was, was totally false. You're you fucking suck at guessing plot points. Damn it! No! I thought I would have an ultra power! Ah, I failed! Really? A delusion? Look, you're tired. Dream about stuff when you're in bed after this is all over. I, mean, I knew you cut a guy's head I off. I still but... don't get it, but. Okay. Ah, oh, where did my head go? Damn it! <laughs> I want to take him with me. All right. Is this the the final moment of truth and justice? Well, actually, no. Probably not. We still got, we still have three hidden kids we haven't found, so it's probably still a bit left. All right, can we go to this fucking elevator? Inside the elevator. Yep. Yep. Oh, hey, they're singing that stupid song. Yeah. It's in Japanese. I don't know what they're saying. But <laughs> what is he doing? Like, just standing there, like, I'm going to sing my song. This is a goofy ass song they were singing earlier. No. I bet I could reach that if I stuck my hand through there. Oh, hello. Ow! Tooth on a broken monokuma. What the hell is going on here? Oh, uh, that from the little girl? She's gone. She had a gun that shot teeth out. <laughs> oh, that's probably it. She, she is still supposed to be alive. <laughs> right, th right in my eye hole. My other eye hole. Is there anything else in here? No. Stop singing your stupid song! Nah, 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 nah. There's what? There's a head! There's another head! There's a head and there's another head! Heads! Heads, 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 heads! La la la. Whoa! Oh. Careful! The tricky one came out! Yeah. Can I use this again? Nope! But I can use this to kill him, right? Yeah. No, no, no! Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm gonna get you! I'm, uh, I'm dead. Alright! Alright! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> you guys know what they're saying in this song? Like, what is this song? It's so goofy, it's <laughs> out La 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 Ow! B -b 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 -ah! Oh, what the? Bull fucking shit. I shot you with it. Why did you not get hit? You never hit me now! Ow! Oh, oh. The singing was for those. Uh, that's right, okay. I didn't realize this thing was absolutely essential for those beast monokumas. Oh, maybe I should talk to you. Oh, I see he's got back to sit on the ground. He's like, well, I'm out of ideas, he says. Oh, good, another thing is Saki. This is this the last one? But Lord Goshan's mug is like so ugly. No filter's gonna make the face look pretty. That's why my profile figures his dog. Tell you, our patterns just don't match. Seriously, it doesn't make any sense at all. Navy me, I just look so skinny. I'm so jealous. What is this? I don't even understand the story. What? No, he's going back to singing again. I can kill you. I can fucking kill you right now. Ow. Or no, I guess not. All right, time for me to handle this. Fucking sick. These motherfucking dogs. Oh, already. Good. Ba da da. 
those who dream, Momoyo, Momoyo's throat. I shouldn't have had that dream, if only thinking it would make it so, if, if only thinking would make it so, how easy that would be. When you think about something like that, how are you supposed to feel? To keep myself from thinking like that, I'll just keep trudging along with my head down. Though she has finally fulfilled her life, her long desired dream to become a novelist, Momoyo Muto's down has dried up in less than two years. Her dream, her money, her life, and the encounter too frail to call fate. Ooh. Now we're gonna talk about this, cause... Which reminds me... Which, remi which reminds me, I need to ask you something important. <laughs> something important? Um... <laughs> it was always my favorite Fukawa expression, where she's like twiddling her fingers like... We are, you know, friends, right? And friends discuss things like hopes and dreams and Barbies and... Getting haircuts and buying candy and learning important life lessons. <laughs> Yeah? Don't mess with me. Why are you so sure? Am I wrong? Um... Well, there are different forms of friendship, after all. Anyway, I realize I don't know your dream. So tell me! What's your prayer said for the future? Tell me right now! Um, well... It's not like outside of this town is peaceful, peaceful, so it might not really matter what my dream is. What? Are you embarrassed or something? Well, I kinda wanna be a porn star. <laughs> well, a little. Aren't all dreams a little embarrassing? No. Dream for the future is greedy. It's embarrassing for me to think that far. I'll just say it already. I won't laugh. Maybe, maybe I will a little bit. No, you're definitely gonna laugh. Don't mess with me. What I said, I won't. I won't. So just say it already. I'll fucking kill you. Promise you might make fun of me. Cause you're super persistent. I promise. Um. Okay. I've been thinking about it on and off since middle school. Um. I want to be a manga artist. No. Or I think that like it might be nice to be one. I see. But I don't have any artistic- But I also can't draw or have any artistic ability whatsoever. So that might make it a little hard. I see. That is very you. <laughs> Why'd you get quiet? Aww. You're really not gonna make fun of me for that? Well, you won't change my opinion that manga is trash. But I told you I won't make fun of you. Oh, hey, that part was voice acting. And besides, the desire to be something is admirable. I would never make fun of that. Toko. What? <laughs> what? You creeped me out. Why was that single piece of dialogue? It's nothing. Spoken out. I'm just glad that you're my friend. If I ever draw manga, I want you to be the first one to read it. I can't imagine the day would come that I actually read a manga. <laughs> <laughs> if the day ever comes, I'm gonna draw you naked, Fugawa. Oh, now you're talking! Huh? What do you mean? Anyway, Mulgur novels, none of that's going to get done unless we get out of this town. Let's hurry and finish this! Yeah, as long as we're together, everything will turn out all right. As long as we're together, everything will turn out just fine. Oh, hey, there's a kid in the... A bunch of kids in the middle. Oh, damn it, he saw us! That's right. Die! Ah, uh, fine. I spare you. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, what the hell? Kids are all singing single file. Except for that one girl, because she wants to know the because there's something in it already. Oh my god, I got a killing urge to kill. Super killing urge. Up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep, another battery. I must have missed one. There must have been an. I bet there was another battery uh, power up that I, I could have gotten. So now I can play as Fukawa up and be invisible for five whole minutes. That's not OP at all. Oh, okay. Wait. I totally forgot something. What? Hmm? The chairman's head. We left it. Now he's gonna curse me again. Nah. <sighs> I'm leaving. Did you smoke some dope while you were cutting his head off? Well, he did have some heading under his desk, but I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> I don't really remember anymore. God, how many teeth did she have in that gun? She has killed a lot of things. This arcade machine is everywhere, isn't it? Oh, shit sure is, Kamaru! Here, have some stuff. Ooh, goody! God! Maybe this is this room already gonna be complete? <laughs> they sort of killed everybody in here. Over there! Someone's hanging from the ceiling! Oh, there she is! Find the kid without getting caught. All right, and I'm gonna guess it's 
Probably that one over there, because it's the furthest away. Or that one on the right. It's closest to these things. Them to step singing their dumb song. Kumas are focused on her. That's your chance. It's funny, you know, this song kind of reminds me of that song from Shrek, where he's like, Welcome to do luck, what a perfect day. Here we have some rules that I say that by a beast, but I'm still a kid. Hmm. There we go. Ah. Uh. That was kind of annoying. I'm gonna go shred them into scrap metal. Allow me. Boom. Dead. 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 All right, get down here, you little weirdo. How'd you get up there, anyway? <laughs> stuff like that so I'm not sure but just because you're not used to it doesn't mean you should give up like those tentacles <laughs> what <laughs> I don't, no I, I don't, I don't want hey to why were you getting attacked it is highly unfortunate but it appears I too have been betrayed for being so unfortunate you sure seem nonchalant about it well this is an act too if I stop acting it would be bad I would lose my cool like some miserable wretch. To put this much effort into betraying me, I'm boiling with anger. Mm. You're talking about Monica, right? Yes, she said it herself. She doesn't care about paradise and never has. Uh -huh. And then she made out with Nagasa for like 10 minutes. It was really weird. It was like biting his tongue. He was like... But he... I can tell he really wasn't digging it. She was tricking us with all her talk about succeeding the will of Big Sis Junko. She even took advantage of the hope Big Sis Junko gave us. And she made everyone in the Warriors of Hope fight. No, more than that. You know, you're just not getting it. This is pretty much what what Junko wanted to begin with, right? That's, she didn't give a shit about like a paradise for kids or whatever. Remember after I lost to you two, I got ambushed by Monokuma kids? I think that was her doing. Masaru and Jotaro probably ended up the same way. She didn't just betray the Warriors of Hope. She wanted to kill us. She didn't believe in friendship or effort or victory. The children's paradise we dreamed of, it was never gonna happen from the very beginning. Duh, you little doodle. If that's true, then what is she really after? I'm not sure, but she said something about the successor to Junko Enoshima or something. A successor? She's twisting this whole situation to make a kingdom for herself. Not a paradise for all. And as queen of her little kingdom, she probably wants to be the pampered successor. She's seriously the worst! She should just choke on a bowl of poo and die! That's right. I know. And you loved her so much earlier. Now you, now you see her for the evil demon lord she is. I just realized her socks here don't match, actually, do they? One's kind of crisscross, one's kind of striped. But, uh, I'm actually... But I, I really think, think it, we're going to... They're trying to make us think it, it, it's her that she's trying to be the successor, but she's actually trying to do Kamara, right? That's that's what I think. Hey, Toko, what do you think? Somehow. I don't know exactly how they would do that. Well, first off, I still don't think we can trust her. Saying things like, I was betrayed, she probably just wants us to let our guard down. Never! Look, I'm completely unarmed! See? What are you doing? Stop it! No! H hey, stop! Uh -huh. If you still don't trust me, I'll let you in on a little secret. The whereabouts of 
that big fat liar, Monica. Wait, if you're completely unarmed, how the hell did you shoot the shoot those teeth out at the uh, whatever? She should be inside the Excalibur, anchored at the rooftop helicopter port. The Excalibur? It's that big airship thingy you so courageously jumped out of. It's on top of Toa Hills. I didn't jump out of it. You dropped me out of it, you if dork. If you know where she is, why don't you go find her yourself? Well, I was planning to do just that. But that's when I got jumped by these Monokumas. The device that controls the Monokumas. Is that in this Excalibur thing, too? I'm guessing that liar poophead Monica is holding on to it. She's controlling the Monokumas. Jeez, her stupid magic. Getting all carried away with that controller. You should snatch it from her. Then you can give it to me for safekeeping. S safekeeping? You're just as bad as Monica. And more importantly, where's the hostage from Future Foundation? This is crucial. Where's my sexy white knight? You mean that blonde guy who looks like he has really pretty nipples? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I do. I have beautiful nipples. <laughs> what? No doubt about it. Master has to have beautiful nipples. Of course I do. <laughs> I get them. <laughs> I get them primmed every time I'm in town. The master you're talking about is in the storage room on the top floor of Toa Hills. But the key to that room is in that liar poophead bitch Monica's pocket. And all I gotta do is strip that rat down and snag that key. Then I get to. F then I get to fuck me a man. Yes. Real man! And after she stripped out, with lots of money! And let starving dogs come eat her! You don't have to go that far. All we have to do is make her give us the key. And then say, no, no, bad. You go to a timeout. Oh, you're so kind, miss. But remember, the device that controls the Monokumas, just leave it to me. You can trust me with it. Of course we can. After all, I don't hate adults anymore. They're not demons to me. Not one bit. Now then, good day. Yeah, I don't totally buy that. <laughs> good day? Where is she going? Bye. She doesn't the adults anymore, huh? <laughs> don't make me laugh. You aren't that good at acting. Maybe we shouldn't have saved someone like her. Right now, we know where we need to go. So let's get to the roof already. Before there are more victims, we have to stop the kids and adults from fighting. Kamaru, your eyes are scary. Huh? Mm. I told you before, Master comes first. But if we can save the city while we're at it... Two birds, one stone, baby! But... Two birds, one whore! Got it. Ping me! Got it. <laughs> Uh, but I don't even like Tagami that much. He seems like a real douche. He is a douche. That's why I love him. Alright. Let's get the shit out of here. I see you, Sparkles. Come to me. A quick and easy cleaning technique. By Satoshi Kawahara. Rooms are said to be the mirror of your mental spirit. If the room is messy, your mental hygiene is not good, very good either. But if you're always busy in your everyday life and have no time to spend cle for cleaning, this book is the perfect cleaning book for you. <laughs> you can literally use the book to sweep the floor. With this godly scale clean that will last five minutes per day, your room will once again be your sanctuary. I'm an annoying woman, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> the conversation just ends. <laughs> uh, where did this come from? Just be honest, I'm annoying, right? <laughs> Smell bad! Everybody hates me! Uh, maybe? That's right, I knew it! I'm an annoying woman! I'm scared of that! Master might hate me! I already hate you, you little ding-dong! Toko! No, it'll be alright. If you don't want to be seen as annoying, all you have to do is remember the three don'ts! Uh -huh. The three don'ts?! <laughs> ah! Amazing! That's right, you just, just keep the three don'ts in mind. You'll never think you're annoying. But that's... What is this magic you speak of? Tell me now! What are the three things? Tell me, woman! <laughs> Turn! <laughs> the first one is, don't want. If you say, want this or that, boys will think you're demanding. 
you want them to do something for you, first you must be a woman worth doing something for. <laughs> Second is don't be greedy. It's true, it's a woman's nature to never be satisfied and always want more. More. I need more. I need more Capri pants. But you have to fight those urges to be the ideal Japanese woman. <laughs> Amazing. The third tone is don't last long. You have to give off an aura that makes boys think that you have to... Wait. That they have to take you quick or you'll disappear. <laughs> oh. I, I was like, I thought she meant something else. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, the boys will feel really bad about themselves. But <laughs> finish quick. <laughs> <laughs> Make the guys feel really good about themselves. If you have that attitude, guys will start paying attention to you all the time. What's going on? It sounds simple enough, but how do you know this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, I just came up with the three don'ts myself. I just made up right now. I used to love giving advice on the internet all the time. <laughs> you're, you're a virgin! How are you gonna give advice like that? I, I think you said that kind of experience doesn't matter. Jesse's a virgin. Don't mess with me. That's just what somebody says without getting enough action. Not right, not right now, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> you and I need to get laid. Maybe we should just lay with one another. Maybe? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm game! <laughs> I know you are. No! Ah, bah. Yay! Bullets from everybody! Everybody's horny! Up we go. How much longer until we get to the roof? We've climbed pretty high. Don't be too far away. <laughs> Good lord, we've climbed like two sets of stairs. Calm down, Fukawa. Ah, I can't take it! Ah, I will make it! Okay, so I'm actually probably still a ways away then, right? Because I still get on Excalibur, so... This isn't where Monica is right um, this moment. That's a pretty creepy door. What should we do? What should we do? Are you actually planning to open this obviously creepy looking door? Come on in the final dead room. I've got a pair of revolvers for everybody. I mean, there might be something important or useful in here. Uh, I'm not going to help you out if a head starts rolling on the floor like last time. Yes, we must get the ultimate weapon. Don't say that. It's scary. Hmm. No, go back. I have stuff to examine. No! There's a hole over there I hadn't been through. Uh-oh. Oh, this is the... Oh, God, this is that weird torture chamber we saw earlier. That's why I warned you! Yeah, jeez! Let's get outside! What's the wheel for? Wait. This is... Giblets. Kamaru... Kamaru Makoto? What is this? It's written in blood. The letters, right? I, both hey, the Nagis? Coco, can you take a look at the... Ah! Happy ah! <laughs> 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 45 goes, Kia! <laughs> I heard guys do that. Jeez, why he looks so pissed at us? Don't scare me like that! If you were gonna tag along with us, make your presence known! Jeez! I was actually probably just pissed about all this dead people in here. Or all the blood and stuff. So was here. Um, Mr. Haichi? You have no idea what this room is, huh? Well, I'll tell you. I think we can take a bit of a guess. This is a torture room. Those kids were torturing our loved ones in here. Duh! <laughs> really? I thought this was the closet. Torture? You guys saw that broadcast too, right? Someone help! That's my wife! That's right, Adult D, I remember him fondly. Try and flush us out from the base. Those brats made us watch our loved ones get chopped up. It actually had the opposite effect, though. We were all too afraid to come out. What? Why is it such a despair inducing idea? Someone with experience must have planned it. You understand now, right? This room. It represents all the despair we were forced to feel. 
All the adults back at the secret base. Their loved ones were killed right here. All of them? It's not an exaggeration. Every single one of us had loved ones killed in this room. Then... those kids somehow discovered all your identities and found your relatives? Y yeah so? Well, doesn't that sound strange to you? Do you really think those brats are capable of that? Yeah, I was about to say, it's like, that's a little... I mean... So you figure out exactly who was still alive and who well, wasn't? Capable or not, that's what happened! And that's why we can't show any mercy! Not anymore! I'll never forgive those bastards! Never! I'll slay them all! Is that toilet over there? This must be where they put the bodies. They threw them away like broken toys. You want to see it? When you do, I'm sure you'll no longer want to take their side. We're not taking their side. It just... It seems like something's off to me. You go on ahead. I want to stay here a little longer. I have to. I have to tell the others about this place. I want to be able to describe it. Ew, why would you want to do that? Mr. Haiji, I understand how you feel, but... Those kids didn't do it of their own free will. Let's just go. <laughs> but... Toko, shouldn't we explain the brainwashing to Haichi? He won't even listen to us. It would probably make him even more upset. But I wanted to ask him about his little sister, too. You heard about that from your hallucinations, right? You shouldn't take that as fact. And not just that, but a lot of things seem off. Off? The victims are all relatives of the people at the secret base. Doesn't that seem strange? No matter how smart those brats might be, how could they possibly learn who they all were? Yeah, exactly. Jeez. Things are starting to get fishy. Are they saying that maybe Haji was actually in on it? But we've come this far. No way we can head back now. I'm sure it'll be all right. You and me, we can do this. You're right. No choice. We have to press forward. I wonder if Haichi's okay. Stop worrying about other people. Right now, you should be worrying about yourself. What the? Oh, oh, there's one behind me! Ah! <laughs> Ow, you're shocking me! Oh, fuck it. You dead yet? Come on. Check out the website for more info. He's here. Master Biakia is nearby. I smell his scent. Huh? How do you know? I can smell him. <laughs> His aromatic sweet fragrance is getting stronger. Ew, I fucking knew it. Ew. <laughs> you mean his EO is getting stronger? <laughs> Don't say it like that. It makes it sound like he smells bad. Well, he does smell bad. And so do you. But then again, a smelly master is good too. That itself is a reward for us. <laughs> Define us. <laughs> You're including me in this? <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, sorry, did I forget to mention we're having a three-way when this is over. Anyway, there's no mistaking it. He's close. But first, we have to get the key. I know. That brat called Monica has it, right? We just bust the door down. Go, let me nourish myself. I'm gonna lick the floorboards. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. 
<laughs> All right, I'm officially horny and ready to kill. Oh, hey, this is the throne room area. And there's the demonic circle. For some reason, this room creeps me out. Oh, I wonder why. I guess they use this room as a war room. Probably made it creepy for ambiance. So that a transmutation it's circle? Blunt, if you ask me. But I guess you can't expect much from kids. Wow. You're mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're on my side. That's a backhanded compliment. Maybe there's a hidden room behind that throne. Of course. There's always a hidden passage behind the throne. Ep yeah. Oh. So what the? it really was a hidden room. Oh, okay. I was like... I was like, wait, what did I do? I just killed that thing. Do you think the Yapio could be in there? This is exactly the kind of room where he'd be hidden. Help me! Yeah. Ah, she's gone! Togo, wait up! Can't stop! Too horny! Oh, what the? How'd I get back here? That was fast. I feel a demon power. What are you doing? What are you doing standing there, you little weirdo? Can I open another passageway? Hmm. Oh, I can, can't I? Yeah, it's got that look about it, doesn't it? All right, come to daddy. Oh, oh I feel kind of giddy inside. Woohoo! I feel kind of bubbling. It's fucking bubbling. Oh, Looks yeah. like there was a hidden passageway, too. Jeez, secret rooms, hidden passages, definitely a gimmick a kid would think of. What we got? Oh! Oh my god, is this the final Saki? I'm sorry, you must have must be embarrassed by my hole, but I'm just so tired now. For some reason, I feel really sleepy. Thank you for everything. Please get along with the new kid, too. Ah, that was fun. Embarrassed by your hole. Oh, I did it! Saki the shock! I got him! I completed Saki! Yes! Oh my god, I, I didn't learn anything at all from it. I really didn't learn anything. I seriously, I don't even understand what the, the fucking story was. Seriously, I don't understand at all! What was it? I don't understand. Can any of you guys explain to me the importance of Saki? Can you explain to me what I'm supposed to learn from that? I just want to know. I'm so confused. Oh! By the way, so, you guys, before I pick this up, one of you guys sent me a video. There was this really, really hidden room. Remember when I, that one, when I was in that one area with a conveyor belt and I was like, Oh look, there's two kitties! It was like a black and a white kitty. And they're actually from like a Japanese-only game. But they're also, they were also in the PlayStation All-Stars game. Mm. Uh, I can't remember, what, I still can't remember what their names are, but uh, they were like rolling along the conveyor belt with all the Monokumas. There's actually a room that was like right next to that conveyor belt, hidden in the dark. You just would walk into it. If you go in there, you find a document that tell, tells you, uh, like, I pretty much like, it was like a document from them, from their point of view, explaining mm. why they're there. Apparently they're like, they're like, they don't understand how they got there, and they're like, I, they're on the conveyor belt, Waiting to go home, apparently. That's why they're that's why they're riding on it. Like that, like forever. <laughs> that was funny, but you, you find like a little room and it's like looks like a little hole where they might have been living, so. I thought that was funny. Oh my god! It's your little what What? Kame Cox. Real name Kameko. A magic demon that looks like a stink bug? It's weak like its owner and it smells like it too, but it can use stink gas on you. When you go hunting, make sure you wear a gas mask or something. <laughs> what? A little stink bug? Whose is that? <gasps> is this Fukawa's? Is this Fukawa's? Cause it because it stinks like stinks like the master? Would she say something? Are you saying anything? Is that you? Oh, I gotta give it back to uh Hakuri's mom then. I bet she'll bring it up. It's gotta be her. 
her, the thing that got stolen from her was a stink bug. I can't believe they put, they put out a hit on the stink bug. How are we supposed to know what stink bug it is? You'll know. You'll just know. It's like a, it's like a 30-story stink bug. The other one. It's really dreary. Dreary. This ladder is pretty suspicious. But Master is inside a storage room. What kind of storage room would be up a ladder? Well, let's just check it out for now. Holy Junko worshipping! Wow, somebody really liked Junko. This is like half my fan base right here. Oh, what? Yes, I watch you sleeping. These are all photos of Junko and Ashima. Huh? This person is Junko and Ashima? She's different than how I pictured her. She looks like your typical trendy teenage girl. What are you saying? Do you know how many people have died because of her? Sorry, you're right. And more importantly, this creepy room looks like a cult headquarters. It's supposed to be Monica's room. What happened? Take a look at this. The girl in this photo uh, is Junko. It's Monica. Hey guys! <laughs> me with my BFF here. Oh my god. Junko let, just letting her cleavage all hang out. There's Junko before she died. A painful, ridiculous death. No wonder. She has a wicked face. Really? Looks like a normal smile to me. That hmm. just makes it creepier. Posing with Junko and Ishima and smiling like this. The way this photo was placed here, I guess this is Monica's room. No wonder she wants to be the successor. She worships Junko from the bottom of her heart. But don't you think it's a little strange? What do you mean? Don't tell me you're still on about that ghost or whatever. If you're curious, you can question her yourself. Why aren't there any pictures surrounding? There's like a perfect circle surrounding that picture there. I thought Master they really would be wanted here, us to notice it. This is a hidden room and all. But I guess not. I'm under the bed. Wow. This is like every this is like a picture of everything that Junko's ever done ever. Even just staying around doing nothing. Not a fairy tale. Alright, so this must be her diary, I, I guess. I never expected my mother would abandon me to my father, someone I never met before. I never thought someone like something like that could happen to me. To me, meow. You tried to meow in her fucking book. This were a fairy tale. The main character would tie the knot with a prince from somewhere, but I know this is reality, not some silly old tale. The only thing I can do is sigh, selfishly do their business, selfishly give birth, and then top it off, selfishly abandon. Hey, hey, hey. Such pathetic characters. How splendid. Ah, right, right. Speaking of splendid, all of my new family is so splendid, too. The attitude they have towards me, the outside, is far too obvious. When I say a joke, the room freezes. When I smile, they, they make a face that says, you don't deserve to laugh. They're so amazing. It's so, it's so splendid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 there, she writes that in the book. She's literally laughing while writing. She's like, I just can't help but get a red yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so splendid, I want to die. Just, there. just kidding. No, seriously, I was kidding. Just a joke. Oh good, I was afraid you were not. <laughs> I like how this one's really ginormous, like, yeah! Like, Juko getting ready to lick something. Like, I'ma lick ya! My intuition says we're almost at the highest level. You're surprisingly correct. That spiral staircase must be connected to the roof. So is that the moment of truth, or? I, I don't know. About Makoto Nagi. Vixis Junko, also known as the goddess, was killed by Makoto Nagi. Makoto is super cool. <laughs> Damn right he is. He overcame tough circumstances with the power of hope and obtained the future they wanted. He makes the boys' hearts race. <laughs> the boys' hearts race. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so horny. I'm so horny for Nagi. I'm so horny for hope. 
There's no mistaking that each and every one of you will will admire him, and a super cool guy like that absolutely has to be killed. We're led to misfortune by Makoto Nagi, so we have no other choice. Pigs who killed who killed others for their own interests deserve to be killed for, by pigs for other people's interests. Wait, what? <laughs> oh crap, is this where I'm supposed to go? This door is locked. No doubt about it. Master has to be on the ah. other side of this door. Huh? You're not gonna lose your composure this time? Oh, I am! Just wait for You're it! You're not gonna, like, cling to the door and cry and shout and make ugly faces? Well, it's true that I might do that, <laughs> but it's weird hearing it from someone else. Well, now I'm not! You real! You spoil the fun! When your purpose lies just before you, sometimes you need to be as calm as a corpse. I get squeezed between those bars. I just need to stop beating for a few weeks. It's a creepy example. Anyway, I'm not going to have some half-assed reunion now, but a full joyous reunion later. And when that happens, I'll cry and shout and make ugly faces at Master's arms. <laughs> I have never let you touch me. What makes you think that'll happen now? Are you sure he'd be okay with that? There's no way he'd dislike it. Jeez, you don't understand men at all. You don't understand me at all! You need to be in love. A woman in love is the most beautiful woman of all. I'll try to remember that. What made her fall in love with Tagami to begin with, anyway? Because he was a giant dick to everyone with tons of money. Turn, turn, turn. I'm getting dizzy. Wee! You're right. Ugh. Do you have a paper bag on you? <laughs> Round and around and around we go. Where the fuck will stop everybody knows? Looking out for those little. Looking out for the hidden kids. I'm smashing one just floating out here. Whoa! Up oh, there's the airship. This huge airship is the Excalibur. Excalibur. Does that thing even fly? It looks like a floating hotel. Now onwards to Excalibur! Whoa, a... Oh! Nothing but chumps. Let's end this. That's right. <laughs> oh, <fuck it. laughs> Hit everybody. I wonder if there's like a max one. No, there is it. Get in my way. Oh, come on, come on, buddies. Oh yeah, let's charge it up. Can't believe I haven't had a shop in a while. Oh, oh, that was sweet. Fucking break dance kit. Done? It's like right in front of me. Kamaru, this is the last time you have to put up with it. Ow! Ah. <laughs> oh, double whammy. Oh, break dance kick. Ah, balls. Ow, 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 ow! Ah, ah! Wait, wait, wait. Dance for me! No, dance! Dance! Is it right? The final stand. Oh, so damn it! Oh yeah. Enough already. Oh shit! Oh my god! Flame on! Uh, ah! Okay, I could really use that thing. Oh. Oh. 
Ah! I can really use the uh, Fugawa's thing right now. Are you over I don't have time to listen to you people talk. Of course I am. Worry about yourself. Where did the battery go? Oh, there's another one. All right. All right. No, the battery. Run! That's right. You better run, you little fucks. You better run. Finally, we're free of interruptions. All we gotta do now is get in the airship. Yes. Then let's hurry and end this. Let's end this. Uh. Oh, hmm. there's one. I fucking knew there would be one of these out here. No, I missed one somewhere! Fuck! Damn it. Oh, crap. Where was she? Can I go back? Nope, I can't go back. Fuck. Damn it, Nagisa! Where'd I miss her? There's Kotoko's. Up we go. Oh. Oh, that was a weird angle. What? <laughs> a lot of terrible things happen to me in this city. And I have a lot of bad memories. But I am so happy that I was able to meet you. Why are you saying this all of a sudden? You can say that stuff after everything's over. <laughs> You're right. In we go. I'm sure that girl Monica is in that huge hall all the way in the back. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember being here. Oh, yeah, baby, fill me up. Fill me full of hope. Monica's memoir. I really, really love Big Sis Junko. So much that the word love isn't enough. I love Big Sis Junko, who shined light upon Monica's world. If only I could see her one more time. If only that horrible day never happened. Monica will do anything. It takes. Monica will cut her wrist. Monica will drink poison. Monica doesn't eat her eyes, ears, nose, or mouth. She just loves her that fucking demon much. But yeah, I know. No matter how many painful things I do, no matter how many shameful things I do, I won't teach the facts. Monica will end up hurt and ashamed, and I know that. Monica knows that. But because I know that, without a doubt, Monica feels lonely and sad and empty. I just want to die. I know that. I, that's why I feel hatred. That's why I want to kill them all so bad. That's why I want to thought the idea of the successor. Just a little bit more. Please, just a little bit more, and the world will know despair once again. They will all know the true meaning of stuff. All right, will I be able to buy the remaining stuff? Oh my god. So Splendidly. Splendiferously. Oh, no. Not even close. Okay. Ah. Oh my god, look at all the stuff I still can't get. <laughs> Jeez. With all the money I earned, it was still wasn't enough. There's a lot of stuff over here. There's no way I can let him be disappointed. This is Nagisa's memoir, I guess. I'm the worst. It was a horrible result. I feel so worthless and want to die. Why am I like this? Why can't I just be better? Father had such high hopes for me, but I couldn't meet his expectations, not even once. It was all meaningless, just because I wasn't good enough. It was stupid to expect... It's stupid of Father to expect so much from a worthless fool like me. Aw. Why am I me? Why wasn't I just born better? Why am I not the child Father wanted? My excuses aren't going to help me now. Only ho hopeless idiots fitter away their lives with self-hatred. No, I have time. I need to work even harder. I need to live to father's expectations. Doesn't matter how high they are. I don't want him to disappoint him. Never again. Aw, poor Nagisa. You don't have to try to live up to his expectations because he's fucking... Your father is fucking insane. He's a giant douche. We're doing that to you. Oh, what makes me cry most? Oh, I see. Now we're getting all the, the kids' memoirs. Their final memoir. Memoirs. 
What makes you cry the most? Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack, a pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. There are tons of reasons tongue twisters are hard to say, but I think a lot of it comes from having to stay, suddenly start start another constant sound. People are Humans are weak to sudden changes. And just like sudden things too, old men just suddenly start talking about it. Mommy suddenly starts crying. Just thinking about it makes my tummy squeeze. Well, I have to feel like this. I'm, I'm fine with normal. I don't need to sparkle. Mommy tells me it's too late once you're old. Mommy says youth isn't eternal. But I didn't even want to start. Youth might not be eternal, but I'm, I'm sure knowledge is. But I cannot say that to mommy. If I say something like that, mommy would cry. Even though it hurts and it's scary and it makes me sad when the old men are gentle to me. Making mommy cry hurts more. So I might as well be, might as well just be gentle all the time. If I just hold in the pain and fear and sadness, mommy doesn't have to cry a single tear. Oh, that is, oh God, that is so heartrending. Oh God. God, my insides hurt after that. Oh. Poor Kotoko. Oh. That's so sad. The family from the day before yesterday. Oh, another Fukao book. Author Toga Fukao. Is this also your book, huh? Why is there no synopsis written here? I'm sure you wouldn't know this, but that's not rare among pure novels. With a name as prestigious as mine, you don't need a summary to move units. <laughs> but because this is written by a friend, I at least want to know the synopsis. <laughs> okay, as a friend, I'll tell you all. Oh, but only if we get to get giggity afterwards. Ah, fine. As you're listening to the author herself, you better clean your ears and listen carefully. Hmm. Wait, oh, well, actually, never mind, it's fine. Continue. <laughs> don't mess with me. <laughs> what? What's the problem? Call me a friend like that, the statue will move away from me! You sadist! Uh, it's not like that, I just think that maybe because it's your book, I should go into, go into it cold. Well... If that's the case, I guess I understand. But you should be clear, more clear when you speak. You startled me so much, you nearly really made me forget the idea for my next book. Huh? Oh, you already have an idea for your next work? Isn't that obvious? Who do you think I am? I always have more than 200 ideas in stock! And I just have to decide which idea to use. Well, maybe it'd be fun to write about your own experience, like in this town. You're right. Write about my own experience, huh? I've heard that I deep advice before. But I've already decided not to write about this town. This place sucks. Maybe I should just say that if I do end up writing something, I'll never publish mm -hmm. it. But I I'd want to read it, though. A novel about this city, written by you. <laughs> like a novel written about me. <laughs> about this town? About what happened to you? Um... I'd rather keep it a memory. Memory just for myself. No, that's wrong. Oh. Huh? Wait, what? What I mean is, it's not just your memory. It's both our memories together. Oh, this must be the final book I find. This is where we're going to learn the most important life lessons. That friendship is fucking super power inducing. <laughs> right? You're an average idiot, but I did learn valuable life lessons, and I do have become a Super Saiyan, so I guess I have to thank you for that. Your hairstyle is weird. Jeez. So weird? My antenna is charming and pretty. You have an antenna, too. Jeez, I thought you were actually going to say something nice to me. <laughs> Not in a thousand years. But you made me happy. Hmm? Huh? Did you say something? You didn't hear me? How come you never hear me when I say important things? Ugh. I said that you're an average idiot with an weird hairstyle and a brother complex. <laughs> really? I heard you say you made me happy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Don't mess with me. What? So you did hear me? Fuck it. <laughs> never mind. I didn't learn anything from this game. Fuck you. Fuck you, Nico, for playing this. Hey, fuck you too, Fukawa. Hey, fuck you too. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. So many things. That I didn't learn at all. <laughs> oh. Uh, monster resistance. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. It's my fault I don't know how to buy alcohol properly. It's my fault that I cough when you smoke. It's my fault and that's why Dad gets mad at me. I'm sorry for making you look like the bad guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the one who's at fault. I'm sorry I made you look like the bad guy. Please don't throw him away. Please stay with me. Please keep being my dad. Aww. It's not your fault, dude. Your dad's an asshole. <laughs> Shouldn't have you running out and getting alcohol anyway. 
I'm gonna force you to steal it. My invention. <laughs> I'm the prince of inspiration. The strongest land animal is the hippo. It's decided. The skin is four centimeters thick. A four, four whole centimeters. It's about the thickness of an omelet. I got it. I totally got it. The sadness I felt was really just not having peace of mind. I'm sad that mommy hates me because I'm not at peace. <laughs> if that's the case, it's simple. If I don't want to be sad, all I have to do is change the peaceful place. I just have to believe that being hated makes me at peace. If I can do that, then... When she tells me to die, I will always be peaceful. I've always, I've heard that there will be a clear weather after Typhoon, but I don't think they're they were talking about families. The more mommy hates me, the better it makes me feel. Now I can sit, stay by mommy's side forever at peace. Oh, that's so that's why he kept he said, tell, tell me you hate me, right? So he forced himself, he forced his line of thinking to change, change his way of thinking instead of take that as a positive thing. Because his mom said that to him, she's a fucking ass. Although, wasn't it the father's memoir we found that, uh, of him? So even the mother was that way. Oh, here we go. It's the last one. Damn it, Kodoko, I missed yours. All right, guys. Well, I think this is probably as good a place as any to, to end it here. So I imagine the next episode will be the final episode of this series. So I look forward to it. hope you guys are, too. Anyway, like for if you enjoyed. Subscribe now and become a piggy penguin aboard the SSLP. The days are always sunny, and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.